I'm Lynn Fritz, the proprietor of Lynn Mars State Winery, and I am passionate about Pinot. It's the most unique varietal of all varietals in the world in that there's the largest spectrum of clonal differences with Pinot than any other wine. Some have measured over 284 variations within the varietal. And the reason for that is it's the thinnest skinned red grape. So it's the most sensitive one and takes morphing, whether where you're planting it under, under the circumstances that you're growing it and the rest and takes on countless personalities within the varietal. This is special. Uh, this makes making it really unique. Uh, this makes drinking it and enjoying it a very, very varied uh, experience. It's, it's a wonderful grape. My predecessor, who owned the property prior to myself, uh, actually planted a vineyard of Pinot Noir on this land, which was historically an apple orchard area in this area of Russian River. It was uh, very famous for apples because it was a cooler maritime type of climate. Uh, so he was quite unique to see that uh, this could be uh, where Pinot would uh, have a wonderful, wonderful uh, experience and be able to be grown in a very, very appropriate manner. And so we grew, continued to grow the grapes and to harvest the grapes. And we sold it to uh, a number of very, very famous winemakers that bought our grapes and like them so much uh, that they made what they call vineyard select uh, uh, grapes, Quail Hill Pinot Noir uh, under two labels. So I was able to experience firsthand this aha moment, say, oh my God, this, <laughs> this is really good. I, I, uh, what serendipitous, what luck, uh, you know, to be here. I, and I really thank my predecessor again for his uh, perspicacity and judgment uh, on, on growing uh, these grapes here prior to my arrival. Uh, and so uh, with that in mind and, and with uh, like all due respect for such a, again, a serendipitous event, I said, we've got to do something perfect here because it's like having a, a genius as a child, you know, you have a responsibility almost to see that he or she you know, would come up to their total potential. I mean, anything else would be almost irresponsible. That's exactly how I felt drinking these wines over the first 10 years. And so at that point, uh, we said to my wife, uh, you know, we, we, ought to, we ought to just get on with this and see what we can do uh, to, uh, in all due respect to this property and see if we can't make it exactly reach its potential. Thus, we started the winery out of a barn that uh, we had on the property and, and then uh, elaborated on that and then a tasting room and then the gardens and 40 years later, here we are. I think wherever we gather, whether it's Palm Springs, Orange County, here in Russian River, uh, this is a wine that was built to have gatherings. So I hope we can employ, I hope we can uh, you know, attract people from all over to join us and, uh, you know, in our passion and in the expression of our passion. Mm -hmm.